Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. Just this week, I've come to a realization. I've discovered the only way to truly prove that I'm actually a human being is to reveal that I have a secret. So, here goes. Between you and me, I have a secret. What? You thought I was going to share what the secret is? Ha! <laughs> of course not. I only said that I have a secret. I didn't say I was going to say what it was. The Secret Box is the episode where Spongebob becomes intrigued by what's inside Patrick's secret box and really tries to see what's inside it. This episode aired on September 7, 2001 and is the episode that sparks speculation on what this embarrassing screenshot of Spongebob from the Christmas party could look like. The inspiration for this episode came from then creative director of the show, Derek Dryman. During the development of season 2, Derek Dryman told Steven Hillenberg and the crew about a secret box he had as a child. They decided to use it and make fun of him simultaneously. Even though this episode is still a great one, I personally don't see as many people talking about this one as other episodes for anything aside from the speculation of what the photo could look like. I've never seen anybody hate this episode, not at all, but it could be considered a little on the average side. And that could be because this episode is paired up with what fans consider to be the best episode of the series, episode 70, Band Geeks. And that could be the only reason why people remember it at all. So now that I've established that, let's watch this episode and see what it's all about. So the episode starts up and Spongebob goes over to Patrick's house to go jellyfishing. Patrick comes outside with his secret box and Spongebob tries to peek inside, but Patrick stops him from looking. Then why did he bring it outside in the first place? Spongebob says that he knows all about secrets and says that it's no secret that the best thing about a secret is to secretly tell somebody else a secret, followed by secretly adding another secret to their secret collection of secrets secretly. <sighs> Holy f If I had a shot every time I just said the word secret, I would be dead immediately. Spongebob starts to tell Patrick some of his secrets, even though none of them were really secrets, with some of those secrets being that Spongebob loves his job with the Krusty Krab, Patrick is his best friend, he's kind of naive, and he was wearing three pairs of underwear. Yeah, and I'm wearing three shirts right now. That ain't no secret. Patrick kept refusing to tell Spongebob what was inside his secret box, and Spongebob tried to show that he has secret stuff too, including a secret TV channel. Wow, that's a good secret TV channel. Even the TV itself doesn't know what channel it is. Patrick kept laughing at what was inside his box, and he told Spongebob that it still has to be kept a secret, and that nobody must know what's inside it. Not even Squidward's house. But while Patrick glanced away, Spongebob snatched the box. Patrick stopped him and tried to grab it back, and they started a fight over it, which ended with Spongebob's arms coming off of his body. And despite the fact that they joined the Best Friends Forever Club, Patrick threatens to end their friendship if he ever comes near the box again. Spongebob was shocked at this threat since they've been best friends forever. Spongebob broke down and cried, begging for Patrick to forgive him and promising to respect Patrick's secret. Patrick does forgive Spongebob and says that it's pretty hard to resist the most amazing, mysterious, powerful secret in Bikini Bottom. So, the Krabby Patty secret formula? Spongebob and Patrick shake hands and remain friends, but later that night, Spongebob couldn't stop thinking about what could be inside the box and started to think it was an embarrassing snapshot of him from a Christmas party. Spongebob then got an idea to look inside the box while Patrick was sleeping and keep it a secret after that. Despite Gary not thinking that's a good idea, Spongebob walked over to Patrick's house while Squidward's house wasn't there. Maybe the house was coming up with a plan to look inside the box too. Or maybe it was at karaoke. Spongebob dressed like a burglar and snuck inside Patrick's house. Spongebob saw the box next to Patrick's bed and tried to not make as much noise as he possibly could. But no matter how slowly he moved or how much he tried to keep quiet, he still made a ton of noise with every single little step he took. Huh, I didn't know stepping on sand resulted in a horrifically loud thumping sound. Spongebob made his way over to Patrick's bed and tried to grab the box. When he managed to get his hands on it, Patrick thought he was the box and set him on the other side of the bed. Wait, why is Patrick sleeping in a bed when he usually sleeps on the ceiling of his rock? Spongebob tries to look at the box, but he trips on his shoelace and causes a loud continuous ruckus. And even that didn't wake Patrick up. Not until Spongebob whispers, that is. Patrick thought Spongebob was a burglar at first, but Spongebob revealed who he was. He didn't believe it was actually Spongebob until Spongebob showed him their friendship ring. Patrick felt betrayed and ended their friendship, but then changed his mind and let Spongebob look inside anyway. 
SpongeBob was so excited until he saw that it was nothing more than a piece of string. A secret string! Oh right, my bad. SpongeBob thanked Patrick for letting him see it, and then he leaves to go tell Gary. But Patrick revealed the secret string is there to open a secret compartment which had the embarrassing snapshot of SpongeBob at the Christmas party. Patrick laughed at the picture, and the episode ends. So that was the secret box, and that was definitely an episode, alright? And I got some thoughts about it. First off, I'll say that I like that this episode had the recurring gag from season 1 where Patrick fell off his rock after it opened. I really like that gag, and I wish it continued beyond this episode. After this, it does reappear again in episode 240, Truth or Square, from season 6, where there was a parody of the Spongebob theme song featuring Patrick, and during that sequence, he falls off the rock. And that's the last time it would ever be shown in the series. But that's beside the point. I only mention that to meet my quota of mentioning the season 1 gag where Patrick falls off his rock at least once after season 1. I also really like Patrick's laughing throughout the episode. His laugh is so contagious and iconic in this one. Gary's line is also classic, of course. Uh, no. SpongeBob's constant attempts at being quiet while inside Patrick's rocks are really funny, and my favorite part during this scene was the part where we hear an elephant trumpeting at one point. <laughs> Even though SpongeBob's secrets weren't really secrets, or at least most of them, it's still a fun scene. And by far, my favorite gag is when Squidward's house looked down to listen to the conversation and immediately went back upright when it was spotted. There's also a clever foreshadowing device. When Patrick thinks Spongebob is in the box and pulls his tongue, he does it the exact way he pulls the secret string to open the secret compartment of his secret box at the very end. It's rather clever if you ask me. And... um... I think that's it in terms of the positives. Now let's move on to the embarrassing screenshot. This is kind of a meme amongst Spongebob fans at this point. We never got to officially see what the screenshot looks like, and it's been speculated to death what it could be. The first thing that fans probably think of would be the pic from episode 56, Christmas Who, where Squidward takes a picture of Spongebob when he's sad after Santa Claus didn't show up. He does look very sad, but it's debatable if that truly is embarrassing. He might have been embarrassed that he was so sure that Santa was going to come, but then didn't, and everybody else in Bikini Bottom got mad and left him alone. Then Squidward took the picture and rubbed it in Spongebob's face, so maybe he felt embarrassed about that time when everybody in Bikini Bottom was pissed off at him. That's the only official Christmas episode in the series up to this point, so maybe that was the picture. But why would that sad look make Patrick laugh so much when Patrick wasn't pissed off with Spongebob about Santa Claus not showing up in that episode? And why would Squidward give him the picture in the first place? Since that's the only picture taken in the Christmas episode, that's why fans think that's the picture. And I kind of agree with them, but only because of the reasons I just gave. I do like that it leaves it up to the viewer's interpretation of what the picture could be, but there are a lot of people in this fandom whose minds basically live in the gutter, if you know what I mean. But with all that in mind, there are definitely some memorable scenes from this episode. Like the ruckus scene, the Squirrel's house gag, Patrick's enigma quote followed by spilled milk, and some cool animation sequences. I will admit though, it is definitely a slow paced episode where not a lot happens. There's only three characters in this episode. Spongebob, Patrick, and Gary. But I like how the story goes. There may not be a lot to this episode, but that's not a bad thing. This is just a little slice of life character driven story. That adds a bit of variety to the show if you ask me. Not every episode needs to be over the top and wacky with a lot of hilarious antics, or have a musical number, etc. A nice character driven story helps to balance things out in my opinion. It does put a bit of a strain on Spongebob and Patrick's friendship, which we have seen before, but this time it's just Spongebob's tempting to find out about Patrick's secret. It is definitely tempting to find out a secret and go to lengths to discover what it is. But that leads into a couple of nitpicks I have about this episode. Since Patrick didn't want to tell Spongebob the secret, why did he have the box with him in the first place when he went outside? Was he holding it and forgot to put it away when Spongebob arrived? Or did Patrick want to attempt him in the first place? The other nitpick is Patrick sleeps in a bed in this episode, but he usually sleeps on the ceiling here, which is his rock. Of course that doesn't really matter, and the bed works for this story. So with all that in mind, I feel there is more to this episode than just a speculation about what the picture from the Christmas party looks like. For those who only remember this episode because it's paired up with band geeks, there's a lot more to this episode than that. The story plays out pretty well, and it has a lot of great gags throughout. 
While I can understand and agree that this episode isn't as memorable as its sister episode, there's still a lot to like about this one. The Secret Box is a solid episode. It has a good story, some great character moments, and a lot of hilarious gags throughout. Even if it isn't the most memorable episode this season, there's still a lot to like about this one, and because of that, I feel it's slightly underrated in that regard. But since Patrick shared the secret he was keeping, I think I should share my secret too. I'm sure you all out there are human beings, and I would keep any secret you guys would share with me. So, here goes. My secret is...